Today I'm going to talk about how to focus on your goals. My first key guidance on how to focus on your goals is to be ready to be disciplined. It is not possible to focus on your goals without discipline. Discipline is a very key, important requirement to really focus on your goals. Being able to focus on goals begins with first a decision that will translate into action. Too many people start writing down goals without really first purposefully deciding to be disciplined to follow your goals. It is a waste of time writing down things that you're going to do if you're not committed to getting them done. Very first important key step before even writing down the goals is to be determined and to be disciplined to getting those goals accomplished. How many people start a new year and decide to lose weight or start a new year and decide to save money and to invest and they never follow through? It is not possible to really focus on your goals to accomplishing them without first being committed to discipline. What is discipline? Discipline is a focused, purposeful decision that begins in your heart. It will translate into actions, but truly, truly discipline is first in the heart. It's a mindset. It's an attitude that begins in your heart. It will translate to key things that you will do, but before you even begin to see the actions, discipline begins in the heart and in the mind. For example, until you really decide to lose weight, it will never really happen until you really make that quality decision. Another example could be if you want to save money, until you make the quality decision to save money, you will never get this done. You see, focus begins with a quality decision and a commitment and purposeful decisions to get things done. Too often, people start writing goals which are important, but you see, if your heart isn't focused on following what you've written, you're not going to get what's written accomplished. So it's my first key guidance is to be ready to be disciplined to avoid distractions. Distractions will always come. But the person, the man or woman who is committed and is disciplined, when distractions come, you will avoid them. You will not be swayed by distractions. And back to my earlier example of wanting to lose weight. If your goal is to lose weight, you will need to be very clear about this commitment to lose weight and the actions that you will take to actually begin to lose the weight. You will need to watch what you eat, how you eat, how much rest that you actually get, and also your food choices and even also the portion sizes of your meals. You see? Focus will require decisions that will also require commitment of key actions that you will follow to get your goals accomplished. Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 says, If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. You see, this verse says when the eye is single, by only looking at what you should be looking at, your entire body will be impacted. There are so many applications of this verse, but the key essence and message in Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 is when your eye is singular, when your eye is focused on what is right, on doing what is right, your entire body will be impacted. When your eye is single, your body will be full of light. Remember, everything that everyone does every day starts with a decision. Distractions will always come at different times. But to the one who is not disciplined, you will be pulled away when distractions come. My second key guidance on how to focus on your goal is to write those goals down. Writing goals are key to actually being able to focus. When something is written, it gives you something to focus on. When something is written, it spells out what needs to be accomplished. Second key guidance on how to focus is to get whatever you want to accomplish written down. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3 says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision. Make it plain upon tablets, that he may run and read it in. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, and at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, will not tarry. Writing down anything is an important key step of commitment. The 
principle of writing down anything, it actually spells out what's important. Without writing down what you need to get done, you don't have a focus to actually focus your mind and your attention on what needs to happen. Writing things down guides you in what needs to be accomplished. Third key guidance on how to focus on your goals is to guard your heart. I want to make this very important point. Much more than what's happening around you externally is what's going on on the inside. You're not going to always control what happens around you or control all the distractions that may come. But what's going on on the inside matters a lot. True discipline actually happens in your mind and in your heart. And you must guard your heart and protect your heart. When you determined on following a course of action by pursuing certain goals that you purpose in your heart to accomplish, and you take the time to write down those goals, you must guard your heart and protect your heart from any kind of distraction that may pull you away. Guarding your heart is a key part of focus. Proverbs of the four verse 23 says, to guard your heart with all diligence because from it flow the issues of life. This key verse implies the importance of watching what goes on in your heart. The greatest challenge is not external, it is internal. No matter what happens externally, what people do, how they behave, or even the course of events, what happens in your heart matters a lot. In my second point, I talked about writing down your vision. Well, as you write down the vision, you must have God rails that you put around your heart to protect your heart and prevent anything that will contradict the vision that's written down. I want to make this very key point. Distractions are not necessarily always bad or bad evil things. A distraction is anything that actually takes you off the defined path that you purpose in your heart to take. A distraction is anything that contradicts or takes you away from your written goals. Always guard your heart, put guardrails around your heart to keep your heart, to prevent the, the distractions that may take you or pull you off your written goals. And my fourth key guidance on how to focus on your goals is to guard and protect your circle of influence. One of the greatest influence in your life are the people you have in your circle of influence. If you purpose in your heart to go north, it is not possible to have people who are going south not be derailed. It's not possible to be focused and have people who are going in the opposite direction. Who you have around you, who you hang around, the people you spend the greatest amount of time have the greatest influence in your life. It's not possible to be focused to have the wrong people in your circle of influence. First Corinthians 15 verse 33 says, do not be deceived, bad company ruins good morals. Proverbs 27 verse 17 says, iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. And Proverbs 13 verse 20 says, Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. You see, key guidance in these three important verses, who you hang around matters a lot. Who you spend time with matters a lot. It's not possible to be focused if you have people who are going in an opposite direction than where you want to go and where your life is headed. Now, all the key guidance I shared with you today will help you focus on your goals, get your goals accomplished. I want to say thank you for tuning in with me for another awesome episode of my program. Join me next week for another amazing episode of my program. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.